Yep. I'm back. Hi, everybody. It's Lisa, and I'm back after a long, long break. A long break from YouTube, a long break from my fitness pal. And I just want to come clean and tell you that I have been hiding. I've been hiding because I was embarrassed that I had put on a lot of the weight that I lost. Not all, but a lot. And I started my, uh, for those of you who are new, I started my sublingual journey on HCG, uh, homeopathic by the way. I started that journey in May of 2011 and I lost a total of 60 pounds 60 and I did kind of I did two and a half rounds or so um, here's what I found however you know the weight came off beautifully I love HCG I really do the weight came off beautifully, but it did not help me with the problems, the, um, the issues that I have with food. I've said many times in previous vlogs that I am absolutely a food addict, and it's true. As soon as I took my eye off the ball, and it was probably, I don't know, eight months ago, something like that, I started eating any and every, I went back to all my old patterns, and that was because we had some traumatic stuff going on in our family, and I thought it would be a great idea to comfort myself with food. I, I remember watching a, blog, a vlog, sorry, a vlog. It's been quite a while back, and I I think it was SoCal Plum who reminded me that when you gain weight back after you've done HCG, you gain it all over. And that is exactly what I've done. I've gained it all over my body, uh, equally everywhere. And it happened so slowly. And you know, I was gonna try the whole weight loss apocalypse thing where I'm past this, I'm not gonna weigh, I don't need to weigh, I can't keep up with my fitness pal, I can't do all that, it's too much. Not a good idea. Not a good idea for Lisa. Might be a great idea for you, it may work very well. I have to keep track. Uh, it helps to hold me accountable. And uh, so, there it is, guys and girls. There it is. Um, I wanted to come back and I wanted to come clean because one of the first things I did when I began to play with the idea of doing a round of HCG, which was a huge humbling experience for me. I'll just tell you that right now. I <clears throat> I began to watch vlogs on YouTube. I went back to the folks who had inspired me and encouraged me back in 2011 and 2012. Um, I went back to my roots, I guess. And so I'm coming back because A, I want to be honest and I want to be transparent and B, I want to encourage somebody out there who's struggling and who feels like they have completely fallen off the wagon and there's no hope. I am seven days into a round. I'm 10 pounds down. I am, I'll just tell you up front, I am doing my own protocol this time. 
I am eating over 500 calories, but I'm not eating 800 calories. I'm staying around, I guess the average would probably be 650 calories. However, I'm not eating any coconut oil this time because it allows me to have food. And I can tell you after my last two rounds that at least for me on homeopathic, um, and this is just my personal experience and my personal opinion. I'm not putting anybody down for your opinion, but for me, 500 calories, some days it was enough, but there were a lot of days that I was miserable and I have two teenagers. I cannot be miserable. They are miserable for me <laughs> and they, they need their mom to be an encouragement and a support and I just I just felt terrible about uh, it, it was hard those rounds of HCG on 500 calories so I kind of came to my senses and I decided you know I'm gonna try 800 calories and see what happens and what I found um, my losses were exactly the same I have kept meticulous notes of all of my rounds my losses were all the same on five to 800 calories. I'm not locked into 800. I don't, uh, you know, like I said, there have been days where I ate 475. There have been days where I ate 700. I don't think I've eaten 800 calories one time. I am working, I'll call it working out, but it's really not working out. It's more like walking the dog pace of walking for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just depends on the day and what I have going on. Um, but I'm just going to sit here and talk to you for a second. I'm in the shade a little bit. Sorry about the glare and the sun and all that. Um, so I want to encourage you. I want you to feel like if you're, um, a past HCG year and you've been hiding out yourself and I don't know if you are I don't know if there's anybody out there like me right now take my glasses off so you can see my eyes for a second um, but it, it is truly it's been a monumental struggle and I have struggled with depression I it's just been terrible and a lot of that was because I was eating sugar and I just don't and my body does not respond well to it. I know that, but it's the first thing I turned to when I started having the issues that my family has gone through. So, hi everybody. I want to encourage you today. I want you to know that um, I'm back in it. And I hope that that inspires you today and, and helps you in some kind of way. And, um, as always, I wish you more blessings than you can hold and hope that you have a great day today. See ya.